Aloha. It's a time where I can meditate, emptying the mind, so to speak, so that make way for the, all the positive. The water is home for Pono Tuane, the wife of former Cowboys offensive lineman Mark Tuane. But before Mark was a Super Bowl champion with the Cowboys, he was an all-state athlete at the Punahou School in Honolulu. His first love was basketball. In fact, he played alongside future president Barack Obama. Barry, they called him Barry at the time, said that Mark Tuane taught me how to set a pick and then went on to be an all-pro left tackle for the Dallas Cowboys. Protecting Troy Aikman's blind side, Tuane played 15 years with Dallas, leading to a family full Cowboys! and an island full of Cowboys fans here in Hawaii. Mark that good for you, yeah, Troy. That's why you look so good out there. <laughs> One of the real comics on that early 90s team, 2A never missed a chance to needle his rivals after a big win. There's a clip of Jesse Sapolo saying, uh, that's right, the road to the Super Bowl goes through Candlestick Park. So after the game, to the bowl. I see Jesse Sapolo chasing Mark Tuane across the field down into the tunnel. And when I got to him, I said, what was that all about? What, what, what was Jesse so upset? He goes, I walked up to him after the game and said, hey, Jesse, thanks for the directions to the Super Bowl. <laughs> what do you remember of the Super Bowls? Winning. <laughs> <laughs> Three titles in the early 90s and then retirement after the 97 season. He was set to return home to Hawaii to coach at his old high school. I can remember dropping to the ground and just wailing. It was horrific. Tuane was found dead in his car of an accidental drug overdose outside his Plano home. He had a big heart. I see a lot of my brother and um, our children and then in a couple of the grandchildren. So he's still here. He's here in a major way. We love you, Mark. We miss you. With generations of family members and friends carrying on his memory. He passed away in 99, and this seems like yesterday. And uh, his legacy is real strong in Hawaii. That legacy includes winners of the Mark II and A scholarship to attend the Punahou School. We couldn't have had a better first recipient than Capono Brown. Capono, a paddling teammate of Pono's, won the inaugural scholarship in 1996. It was an opportunity for me to go to Punahou that I wouldn't have had, have had otherwise. A lot of great teachers, a lot of great lessons, and I think I'm better because of it. But the real legacy of Mark Tuane is Pono. Her spirit unquenchable, two decades after her husband's passing. I've since learned, like the butterfly, there's going to be some challenging parts to your life. And I'm going to just like that butterfly, I'm going to blossom and I'm going to bloom and choose beauty and love and kindness. And I love you guys. The grief, yes, will be in my life. I have a lifetime of grief. But with the amount of love that I'm surrounded by and I'm fortunate to have, love conquers. Okay, oh, oh, okay.